What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Greatest Vlog in the World. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. Madeira? Is that how we say it? <laughs> we don't say Madeira here. Um, and today we've got a great video for you guys. Today we're going to be going into the weather uh, in the winter time. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you guys some insights, some uh, uh, trying to give as much value as possible uh, so that we can help you how to dress. Uh, how to navigate uh, and what to expect uh, when you're coming here in Madeira for the next few months for the winter season. So between December and March, I think it is. Hey, Oscar, something like that, right? Yeah. So uh, don't go away. It's going to be a great video full of value for all of you guys coming to Madeira, especially for the first time uh, or for the first time in the winter. So uh, yeah, you ready, Oscar? Let's go. Let's go. Not a fun day to be me today. Bom dia. Uh, estou à procura do motor de limpa vidros para um Discovery ou um Land Rover ou da Frente. Ok, nem para encomendar nem nada disso. Yeah, today I wanted to go hiking, but unfortunately there's like a million fires I have to put out that hit the road. Good things, you know, not bad. Like, well, not great things, right? Let's get out of here. We're gonna get Oscar to work. We're gonna put Oscar to work. Oh, he's filming some stuff. I'm going to be calling, calling part shops until we come right. Today is one of those days that we have to do things a little bit slowly, right? So I'm going step by step, but don't you guys worry. We're going to be bringing loads of value to all of you who are watching. Um, and I'm going to start off with the south coast. So we're at the moment on the south coast of Madeira so of course there's only two coasts south and north and um, during the winter time uh, you kind of want to stay in the south side as much as possible if you're one looking for that uh, that weather of eternal spring what they call when uh, people say that Funchal is the island of eternal spring or Madeira is the island of eternal spring uh, you want to stay on the south coast of the island um, this is usually where there is better climate, where it's a little bit warmer. As soon as you go to the north coast, and there it'll be a little bit rainier, a little bit colder. Um, so you definitely want to stay on the south coast if that's what you're looking for. If you want to be in nature, away from, from the crowds, um, of course you can get away from the crowds as well on the south side. Uh, and you can also get in nature. But if you want to be like, in a rainforest or uh, you know these kinds of, of things would be a very quiet place uh, then you want to go to the north side of the island uh, because yeah that's where you're gonna get all of your rain and your clouds and things like that and I had a friend of mine who actually moved here to Madeira and uh, it was a good couple of years ago and he said that the way he found out about Madeira was because of the bananas because he knew that there were lots of bananas here and he knew that bananas grew in nice climates so that if the bananas could grow here, that he could grow here as well because the, the climate was good. Are you saying he's a banana? Well, he's a, I think he's a bit of a banana for, for, for I've left, for I'm leaving. He's now, he's now gone, so it's definitely a, a, a banana to, to have done that. Adventurous roads for our Mercedes Benz. Move, move. Move, 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 move. <laughs> okay, here we go. Opiku. Love this place. We have to ask for a very small poncho because the one here is quite deadly actually. <sighs> Woo! Ah. ah, they're fine. So yeah, today we actually wanted to uh, do some hiking. I, I felt like getting out into nature. But we had all our drivers busy because we're quite busy at the moment. So, um, and I had some work to do. So Oscar, I'm sorry, but we're going to be oh, doing something a little bit. Instead of drinking instead of hiking. Okay. Just one, 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 for the vlog. But check out this place, I love this place. Uh, makes a super dangerous uh, poncha. And nobody knows about it, except for the whole internet now. So, you're welcome. There's actually the whole city of Funchal below us. 
All right, so we're in a place called Monte. You can see the church over there. Mont in uh, some of the tourists like to call it Monte. You know, all the British tourists like to call it Monte. That's where we are. So Monte uh, is a couple of hundred meters above uh, the main city of Funchal. So to be honest, I don't know how many, it's like 500 meters or something. Hey, 600. 600 meters uh, above sea level. And um, in the winter time, as you go up higher, the cooler it gets. So Monte or Monte uh, is obviously a very popular destination for visitors. Um, there is the sled ride there and also the cable car going up. So if you're going to Monte, all right, you can be at least up to five degrees cooler uh, than down in the bottom. So there's a general rule of thumb that for every 100 meters you go up, you lose a degree Celsius uh, in temperature. So when you're checking, uh, and this is when I have the problem with the weather forecasts, because if you're checking the weather forecast, it's just gonna say Funchal, but it can be Monte Funchal or center of Funchal, or it can be Praia Formosa, which is west of Funchal, which is even a little bit better. So it could be raining in the whole of Funchal, but it, maybe not in Praia Formosa, um, or it can be super nice uh, in Funchal and sunny and bright. And if you notice in Monte, it's a little bit cloudy um, and a little bit overcast, you know, so a little bit darker is what I'd like to say. So very often it can be raining here and sunny down there. Um, and also you can look up at the clouds and it can be looking like it's cloudy and in the mountains it's really bad, uh, but actually uh, it could be pretty good if the cloud is low. So um, that's basically what I wanted to bring out here in this statement is that I want to make it as valuable for you guys as possible. And when you're out exploring, these are the kinds of things that you want to think of. Christmas season, you've heard me say it on a couple of the other vlogs, but this is Tangerina Mandarin. And uh, we're going to ask him to put a few in the poncha. Bananas. And this is another one that maybe no one will know. It's prickly, the outside. Let us know in the comments what you call this in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese, on the mainland, in Madeira, and in English. Do you know what it is in English? No. Nope. You gotta figure it out. Great spot for shut up and eat. Look at this dentinho. We've got a macarronada. For those of you who don't know, a macarronada or dentinho means small tooth. It's like a tapas here in Madeira. If you order a round of drinks, you'll usually get what they call a dentingo. It's not always as nice as this. These are for the more local, more local places. Usually you're gonna find, um, you know, something else, but macarnada, a macaroni, macaroni dish um, that they do here in Madeira, usually with, uh, with some meat, uh, beef. Sometimes they put chorizo, they put, uh, some people even put like potatoes inside. But um, usually it's vegetables, like here we can see carrots, peas, um, some herbs and um, macaroni and meat. So yeah, it's fantastic. Ever heard the saying, do what I say and know what I do? It's the perfect uh, explanation for what's going on here. I was at the bar and there was no, I had no cash. So I had to go and uh, walk. So I'm, I'm, we're doing hiking anyway, right? So we didn't want to do any hiking, but anyway, I got my cash. So yeah, don't forget that you need cash sometimes. As you can see, it's a little bit overcast, uh, but I have a secret weapon for you guys out there. For, so when you're adventuring and you're not sure if the weather is good, um, you have to remember that Madeira has different microclimates. So I've heard different figures. I've heard one person say that there's seven microclimates. I've heard someone else say 25 microclimates. So I'm just saying microclimates, right? Uh, I don't know how many exactly. But right now we're in this cloud. Um, but I did check my secret weapon and 
when you're out here and you're looking for things to do when you're out exploring and you're not sure if where you're going is going to be any good then you need to check out the webcams uh, in Madeira and it's very easy you just put it into Google and you hit their Madeira webcams and it will be one of the first links that comes up and you can see strategic webcams around uh, the whole island and voila we have Pico Duariero behind us. It's the third highest peak in Madeira. And we're going to take you just for a little drive so you can see it. A lot of people come here to do the peak to peak hike. So if you are one of those people who wants to do the peak to peak hike, during the winter is the toughest time to do it. It's the worst weather up here. Of course, up here we're on the way to 1,800 meters above sea level. That's almost 5,000 feet or something. I can't remember. I haven't done this for a while, but uh, obviously at that temperature, at that altitude, we're going to have much cooler temperatures. We're going to have a lot more clouds, a lot more rain, a lot more wind, just all of it. So if you get to the peaks and it's clouded and it looks like it's been clouded for a long time, then if you're not an experienced hiker, you know, someone who's like hiked Nepal or something like that, then you don't want to be doing that kind of hike. In fact, when we were doing hikes at Hit The Road, uh, in our tour business, um, which is a whole nother story. Whenever we'd go up there, uh, the hikes and it was clouded, we would go straight immediately to plan B, uh, which is a topic for another video. But uh, if you're up there and you want to do the peak to peak hike, you have to check um, that the weather is in fact good. And another place you can check is a website called Mountain Forecast. This is the website that I use uh, to check the mountains only, and that's Pico Duariero, Pico Goivo, as well as Bica de Cana. I use these three spots to figure out what the weather is like, or at least what it's forecasted for the next day uh, in Madeira. Of course, if it's during the day, you can just use the webcams and you can see if it's open. But if you want to check for tomorrow morning for the sunrise, for instance, then you want to use all the tools that you can. Um, unfortunately, it's not the easiest to, to, to guess uh, for the sunrise, but that's that. So if you're coming up here, I think that in the winter also generally, uh, it's usually clear in the morning and then it starts to cloud up in the afternoon. So if you're doing a whole day tour kind of thing and you want to do Pico Duariero, then you want to make sure that you go to this place, Pico Duariero and Pico Joivo, uh, in the morning. Um, or if the webcams, if you have the luxury of checking the webcams, then you can just go when it's open. And I will also write up a blog post um, on how to navigate uh, Madeira in the winter time that you can find in a link in the description below. Remember to hit uh, like and subscribe and the little bell thing so that uh, when our videos come up, you can see that they're there. And we've got some great stuff coming. We've got a live stream coming, so you can come and chat with us. We're gonna be at the Christmas market. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, and check out the clouds now. This is where we came out of. So we kind of shot through this. Can you see it there, Oscar? Is it well? So we kind of shot out of that um, and up into the blue skies. When I used to be tour guiding all the time, I used to say that it was magic. You know, I'd look at the clouds and obviously in the background, I would have checked the webcams, you know. And I'd look at the clouds and I'd say, no, these are short clouds. I think I th I've got a 90% sure chance that it's going to be clear up at the top, you know. And then I'd bring people up and they're like, oh my God, he's so good. He knows what he's talking about, you know, just by looking at the clouds. And yeah, that's how good I am, man. Huh? <laughs> like you're a professional or something. Yeah, it's like as if I used to do this for a living. So we're taking advantage. We've got Oscar with us. We're going to take a photo. We haven't got a photo of the new van. So Oscar, do you think this is a okay place i mean i'm not i'm not quite dressed well you know i'm look more like a jeep guy than a mercedes-benz guy i mean you know it's out of the box right tell me what you think it should be like this huh like that like this yeah ah. look at that look at that happy guy <laughs> okay let's take some pictures yeah My favorite little spots to come in the in the fall i didn't even have to like pick it off it just kind of like fell off december time and i like coming here in november there's like two weeks it's a really short little gap 
where you'll get all the trees with reds and yellows and things like that. And I thought maybe we could still get that and take a couple of photos of the van because we've got no photos. But uh, very few leaves on. So we are midway through December, just in case somebody thought, actually, no, she's midway through December. <gasps> I'm giving myself a heart attack. It's the 5th of December today. We are already filming in winter, basically, for people who are watching and being like, did this guy film this in video in the winter and whatever? It's like, yeah. So we're gonna get a coffee and some water. We're gonna check up if we've got everything right so far, maybe get some food and fill in all the gaps. So yeah, ask her. What's your favorite thing about this place? There's no signal. There's no, no signal. signal. Nobody can huh? tell you. They changed the ownership a while ago. So this is my first time eating under the new management. They used to have uh, hot chocolate. Oh, they still do. They still do. They got brownies, brownies, mini donuts. They've, there's some um, little uh, things here. Looks good. I laid it with scrambled eggs. Ooh. I think we should get one of those just for the vlog. Yeah. Just to show the people. Yeah. I'm kind of down for a burger. So I wanted to get into uh, what to wear. I'll make sure to write it all down so I don't forget. But if you're around town in Funchal, uh, then during the day you can get away with shorts uh, and closed shoes, okay? So uh, usually I would say if you're out adventuring, I would say long trousers, closed shoes, and then layers, right? So. Uh, as you can tell, the weather changes as you go up and down and around the island. So you want to be taking on and taking off clothes. Um, and then also you want some waterproofs, especially if you're going hiking. If you're going hiking, uh, then you want to make sure that you have proper hiking boots, all right, uh, that are safe, that have good grip, uh, and that are preferably waterproof. So you want good hiking boots, you want waterproofs as well. Uh, if you get caught out in the rain. Um, and then uh, also if you need lanterns, lights and things like that, there is a hiking video uh, that I made on the channel about tips on how to hike in Madeira, like 35 tips or 40 tips or something like that. You wanna check that video out with all the hiking um, things that you need to bring with you. Uh, when you're adventuring, of course, yeah, I said that already. And then the other thing that's very important is to make sure that you have plan Bs. So if you're doing the hike, uh, if you want to do the hike up in the peaks and the weather's not so good, then you want to find a plan B to go somewhere else, right? Um, that's really the truth of it here in Madeira. Plan Bs are the best way to go. And because it, it's never really like raining everywhere, you know, it could be like two or three days in the year. We have to be really unlucky where it's raining all over the place and there's nothing that you can get out of the day. Of course, if you don't wanna go hunting for plan Bs yourself and doing all of your own research, uh, then make sure to book a tour with Hit The Road Madeira, the greatest tour business in the galaxy, right? <laughs> so uh, for a no stress uh, tour around the island, away from the crowds uh, and adapting to all of the conditions and the tastes of the people inside the cars, um, we have been doing this for a, a very long time. This YouTube channel came after the tour business. All right, this is the tour business's YouTube channel for those people who are complaining that saying that I'm trying to sell tours all the time. It's like, that's what I do. Before we leave, I forgot to mention one thing uh, is that sometimes it does snow in the mountains, right? So snow isn't something that we see so common uh, here in Madeira. So commonly so what's the word i'm looking for frequently you know based on my experience usually it's between february and march like january february march i would say february um it's very rare but if it does they will close roads only up in the top so you won't need to worry about where you are down below but the mountains will be closed and of course you have to make sure that everything um, that you rely on everything um, on the on the warnings, right? So you have to check out the IFCN website. I think it's called IFCN. Uh, I'll double check for you guys and we'll get Andrea to put a little screenshot here of our forest uh, rangers where you can see which hikes are closed and which roads are closed. Um, and if there is anything going on, that's where you're gonna see it. So yeah, enough blabbing, right? In 
So to end things off, you got one last chance, right? Because it's December. You got one last chance to enter into our annual giveaway, right? We're giving away a entire vacation in Madeira, tours and accommodation paid by us. Of course, this is no flights included and we are not a casino, but everybody who joins our Patreon account for supporting this channel goes in to the yearly draw to win a vacation. So for only four euros 50, you can get some bonus stuff from us as well as an entry in the draw. For each month that you are supporting our channel is one entry. So there are going to be a couple of you uh, who would have had 12 months, 12 entries and just a little bit of a higher chance to win that vacation. So when you join our Patreon account, uh, you will also get access to some resources. So not only do you get access to have a chat with me so I can help you plan your vacation, um, but you also get video chats and you get a list, for instance, uh, of my favorite restaurants all over the island. There's 35 of them. They're not like the best, they're just my favorites, but it's more than enough to kind of get you on your way. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you got as much value as you could have. Hope it all made sense. And um, I hope it helps your vacation in Madeira. Oscar? Is it the road? Is it the road?